Welcome, welcome, my charming conspirators. Uh, we are in hell, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, this is Silent Hill 3. Uh, we actually just got the Silent Hill here. Um, playing as Heather. We are in Brookhaven Hospital. Just uh, fought some nurses in the last one. I gotta figure out where the hell I am here. Well, there was actually another room in that in that room that I did not look at. This door. Yeah, it's locked anyway. Of course it is. Wouldn't have it any other way, would we, conspirators? Yeah, it's just the way it's gotta be. Well, I guess let's just let's just start down here. Go door to door like we're freaking trick or treating here. The lock is broken. Door here. Where does this go? It's been a very, very cool game so far, man. Very, very cool game. There's a mini fridge. Uh, there's a memo posted on the refrigerator. Food only. Do not store drugs. <laughs> what? I wonder if it's okay to store health drinks in here. Oh, nice. Cool. It actually gave me a health drink. That was pretty cool. I'll take that. Ooh, there's some bullets. Thank you. Thank you, game. Thank you. I haven't seen handgun bullets in God knows how long. Uh, let's see. It's a medical record or something. It's for this Leonard guy. Oh, yeah. That's who Douglas is trying to find. Uh, could this be the same Leonard that Vincent was talking about? Room S12. Presenting mild audiovisual hallucinations, emotional instability, Obsessive ideas, uh, suspect, mild schizophrenia, will continue to ob observation. Uh, basically calm and cooperative with a strong sense of justice. However, according to reports, becomes very violent when overexcited. Uh, the other one is for Stanley Coleman. Room S07. Uh, usually passive and cowardly, also egotistical. Uh, sometimes shows and acts on obsessive attachment to a particular woman. Uh, this has caused violent incidents. Uh, use caution. Well, where are where are those rooms? <laughs> just just so I know where they are, I can, I can be warned and have a gun ready when I go in them. Well, I don't even see any S rooms here. I got some C's. Ah, oh, there we are. There's they're up on the third floor. So S seven. In S12, yeah, we gotta take extra caution before we go in those rooms, boy. Those guys could still be there. What is this? There are just a bunch of locked doors. Is there anything else in here? I think we good. Anything in that cupboard? Yeah. There's stuff written on the whiteboard. None of it really matters. Okay, if you don't care, Heather, then I don't care. Uh, where the hell do I gotta go? Let's just continue this hallway here. Oh, this is all blocked off. Oh, can't get in that door. Is that a door there? What the hell is that? That's just nothing. Um, where am I going? Oh, I guess uh, there's actually a whole... Uh, yeah, let me get this hallway here first, I guess. Is that the right one? Yeah. There's like a bunch of doors down here. Make sure I ain't missing anything. Well, what do we got here? Well, well, well. Uh, this day has finally come. That's right, the day when you and I will meet. Uh, I was always thinking of you uh, here in this gloomy cell. I never even knew your name or face until today. But now I know. I know you're the one I've been waiting for. Um, haven't you been waiting for me too? Uh, that's why you came to rescue me. Oh, how I love you, Heather. How the hell does this guy know my name? I want to give you my prized doll I made to commemorate our meeting. Uh, the start of this everlasting love. Uh, I can already see your smiling face. Stanley. That's that Stanley Coleman, dude. 
Is this the doll we're supposed to take? Uh, disgusting. I won't touch that with a 10-foot pole. Well, look at the size of this herb. Yeah, she won't, she won't take the doll. Hmm. Well, I hope Stanley won't be mad, but yeah, she won't, she won't take the doll. There ain't nothing else in here, eh? Yeah, I don't know. Um, where the hell was I going? I was going down this way. That's locked, too. Is this anything? No. So is that all the rooms in this area? Yeah, yes, yes. Oh, I didn't check the ele I need to go check this elevator too. Oh, Christ. Yeah, make sure this isn't working. It could be. It is, it does work. Okay, that's good to know. Well, I still need, Heather, I need to still look at the other rooms down here. I didn't realize that that was gonna work. Let me out. I think there was a freaking basement too. Yeah, there's like doors down here. I gotta go check these out. That's locked. This one's open. Oh Christ. Here we go. Oh yeah, get your shot in. Take that. I don't how many do I use do I have? Yeah. Die, demon. One down. Come on, Heather. I wish we could, like, take their weapon. What do they even have? They got lead pipes. That's what they got. Well, this door is locked. Or blocked, I mean. Which door did I freaking come in? It's like one behind me. Yeah, there's a whole door behind me. That's locked. Okay, thank God. Okay, uh, left or right? Uh, start left, I guess. Get the right side on the way back. All right, seat two is open. Oh, yeah. What am I... Oh, man, I'm out? Crap. I'm gonna have to take... I don't even have... I'm gonna have to try and quickly shoot these guys. They got me cornered, man. Look at this. Dude, Heather, run! This was a bad room. Dude, I'm gonna get mauled to death here. Let me out of here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my God. I need to use the first aid. Can I, I wonder if I use my katana. Will that hit all of them? I'm gonna try it. There we go. Y'all are so big and bad now, are you? Y'all ain't so big and bad now. The hell's in this room anyway? That would be something important in here. There's three freaking nurses. Is there really nothing in here? You gotta be kidding me. They didn't drop anything? There ain't even nothing in this room, bro. Are you kidding me? God damn it. What the 
hell's that? That is nothing. Heather, what are you looking at? You see something. What do you see? It's another diary. What is this? Uh, there are a lot of things stuck to the wall. Uh, a cookie, a toothbrush, a spoon, a Christmas card, a clock. Uh, whoever it was probably used glue, but why do this in the first place? Like, do I need one of these items? Well, there's a key. How do I get it out? Yeah, there's a key glued to the wall. I'd love to take it with me, but it's really stuck tight. I can't even pull it off. Crap. What the hell do I use to get that out? I need like a magnet? Uh, the organization has me shut up in here. Uh, they mean to break my will to make me forget about all that. But I'll stay sane even if they throw me in here with lunatics. How about if I stick this to the wall? Um, that would be worthless. Uh, you can peel it off, can't you? With that junk, those nasty wenches won't stop using. If a thing has no meaning, there's no reason for it to exist at all. Just as you exist for me. But why haven't you taken my doll with you? Uh, my gift must have embarrassed you. How cute you are, Heather. Stanley Coleman. How is this guy moving around ahead of me? Do I have... I don't even have anything. What is this dad's notebook? I don't even think I've looked at this. Um, I hope this will never come to any use. Uh, maybe it's better if you never know. Uh, more than anything else, I fear the possibility of your going away far from me. Uh, but sometimes we have to tell the truth. Uh, that's why I'm writing this uh, before I'm lost in death and oblivion. Uh, what happened back then, that has something to do with who you are. Um, it all started 24 years ago, coming back from a vacation. My wife and I found a baby on the side of the highway. Uh, since we were childless, we thanked God for letting us meet this child, this girl. We took her home. Are they talking about Cheryl? Three years later, my wife died, and another four years later, 17 years ago, I came to Silent Hill... I heard the girls please and took her with me, not knowing why she wanted us to go there. And it was there that the girl went away. Uh, not that she actually went anywhere, nor did she die. Uh, return to her original self. That's what Dahlia Gillespie said. Original self. That was the young woman burned by her mother as a sacrifice to God, Alessa Gillespie. So, yeah, so she... So Harry and his wife found Cheryl on the side of the road, raised her up. Uh, Harry's wife died, and he brought Cheryl to Silent Hill. Cheryl went running off down that alleyway and then transformed into her true self, Alessa. Uh, half her soul escaped in those flames and went on to live in a baby um, in that girl of mine, of ours. Uh, seven years passed before that half a girl returned to Silent Hill and made Alessa whole again. Newly strengthened, she vowed to kill God. God, a fetus nestled into the sacrificed girl's womb, uh, was summoned with the usual rites. Uh, this was Alessa's wish, no matter what the outcome, uh, even if her own existence were at stake. Uh, but that wish was not granted. Uh, my, inter my interruption meant she prayed instead for the girl's return. I alone couldn't bring her back. Dahlia did it. I only helped at the birthing ceremony to bring God out of Alessa. Uh, the newly born God wailed once and was dead. All from that girl's and probably Alessa's conscious resistance. That's not the end. Um, after God had vanished in a glow of light, Alessa reappeared and gave me a baby. Uh, she looked a lot like that girl so long ago. And then Alessa was gone, dead. There was nothing I could have done to help. Um, I simply clutched the baby to my chest and ran off. Yes, yeah, so that's how Silent Hill 1 ended, with Harry and Sybil running off with the baby. Uh, the whole thing felt like a dream, but I had proof that it wasn't. The girl was nowhere to be found, and in my arms, the baby. Now, 17 years have passed. It feels like only yesterday. 
And again, it feels like a million years ago. I confess I had reservations at first about raising that baby. Could I love her? Um, her existence was thoroughly unexplainable. I thought she could be that young woman who snatched away my beloved daughter. Uh, that led to sadness, anger. Uh, there were times when I put my hands around her tiny little throat. Oh, wow. Uh, several times I even considered abandoning her. Uh, that's what a terrible person I am. I, I'm, those are all valid concerns, Harry, because Jesus Christ, all the crap you went through in Silent Hill 1, you don't know what this baby is. Uh, but I decided to raise her after all. Um, I just couldn't seem to let her go. Uh, when she, when you look at me, you laugh so. Um, even now I can't forget about that girl, but I love you. I have no doubts about that. That's all I ask you to believe. Uh, to my precious daughter, Harry Mason. Interesting. That's cool that it gives some backstory there. About the struggles uh, Harry had with trying to raise us, I guess, Heather... It's kind of a weird situation, you know, you battle a demon god, and then all of a sudden this little baby comes out of nowhere, and it's like, okay, yeah, I guess I guess I'll raise it, <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, is everything accounted for on this uh, left side down here? Okay. Yeah, so C4 had... That key. We gotta find something to get that key off. Maybe like a crowbar, maybe. All these are locked. So I think we're done with this whole first floor. I think we gotta get on the elevator now. Yeah, there ain't nothing else to do. We gotta find something to get that key. Where was that elevator? It was like down this way, wasn't it? Yeah, here we go. Actually, is there anything in the elevator? No. You never know, man. Yeah, there is a basement. Should we try it? Okay, thank God. <laughs> uh, Bria, sigh of relief on that one, man. I don't want to go to the basement. The basement in Silent Hill 1 was crazy, man. But then again, that was... Uh, Alcamila El Hospital. Alchamela? I don't even know how you pronounce it. I don't see any demons. So. Everything's locked, bro. Everything. Go this way. There's something here. What the hell is this? Oh, it's another journal. You may not yet have realized your own true feelings, but you sense them unconsciously. And so you're trying to get closer to me. That's a virtue, the path to paradise. If the door is locked, open it. Use the password for the prison gates. Doctor, I've forgotten his name. Anyway, that quack has it posted. He should be here too. I mean, four numbers would have been good enough, but he kept on going. Isn't it a shame I'm not there? Aren't you irritated? I long for you, but you're so cruel. Still, I want you, Heather. Stanley Coleman. This dude is like... running around. What is this? Uh, there's a typewritten memo posted here. What's this supposed to mean? The first is larger than the second. The second twice the third, the third smaller than the fourth, the fourth is half the first. Four of the numbers are not repeated. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. One of the numbers is the final key. What the hell does this mean? It's locked. Oh, for God's sake. Is, that, is this like the puzzle clue for this combination, maybe? Okay, yeah, I will. I'm going to come back and figure that out. Uh, we got some more doors to explore, I think, down here. Yeah, we do. 
Let me go try these first before we start wrapping our brain around that. And this one's open. Is that shotgun shells? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Thank you, game. Thank you, goodness. Got nail polish remover. I wonder if that will get that key out of there. Got perfume? What the hell do I do with perfume? All these lockers are tightly sealed. Okay, well, we got nail polish remover and perfume. There's still one more door there. That's locked. Okay. Um, so is that all the rooms? Okay, so we could get back on the elevator. Because, yeah, I don't even want to attempt to try to wrap my brain around whatever the hell that puzzle's got going on. Let me go try... I want to see if that nail polish remover removes that key off the off of there. Where was that down on the first floor? Just want to go try this really quick. Not really sure what I'd do with the freaking perfume, but yeah, it's like all the way down at the end of this hallway in the next one. Please tell me the nurses are still dead. Thank you. Is it this door? I think it was this door. Yeah, it was this door. I don't know. Would nail polish remover work here? I don't even know. I guess so. It's doing something. They used the nail polish remover. Oh, nice. I got the stairwell key. I don't know what I use that on, but what do I use that on? I don't even see like a locked door down here. That, oh, this looks like stairs over here. No, that don't work. I wonder if it works on this elevator. No. Hmm. I don't even see stairs. Oh, there's stairs. Oh, I see them now. I'm blind as hell. It looks like that key goes to this door here. Yep, use the stairwell key. Okay. Well, now we can go down to the basement. Yeah, let's let's start down here, I guess. What are you looking at, Heather? What are you looking at? What is this? Oh, submachine gun bullets? I don't know if I want to be down here, man. Oh my god. Okay, that's a small area. That door is locked. We need to get a gun out. There's something down here with us. We need to get something. Yeah. It's shotgun time. Actually, I need to heal too, just in case. God, I only got one health drink left. Are you kidding me? It's a wheelchair. Where's the person that was using it? Yeah, that's actually a great question. That is actually a great freaking question, Heather. There's the gun right there. Can I take that? Hell! I got a freaking summon. I'm still in the yellow. I need to use this. God damn. I got five of those and two of those. Reload. Reload. Whatever the hell's down here with us, we're going to need a machine gun. For sure. These are all locked. This one's open. Just be prepared for anything. Oh, 
Oh boy. And what does this mean? There's a suspicious space between the shelf and the wall, but I can't squeeze into there. And there's no way I can move the shelf either. Huh? Well, how do I... Well, what's on the other side of this room? Hmm, how the hell do I get over there? Streaks of blood as if something got dragged and are continuing on the back of the shelf. No, it's more like they start from the back of the shelf. Huh? How do I... Hmm, I don't know if this is like a puzzle or... Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know what who was shooting at what down here. The blood trail continues into the elevator. Part of me wants to peek in, but then it's a little creepy too. So do we not do anything down here? Well, she circled that space right there, though, so clearly we got to go back to there at some point. I just don't know. What do I do to move the shelf? I was going to say, do I wedge the steel pipe in there? But I don't know what I used the perfume for. Yeah, I got nothing, man. I don't, I don't know what I do with that area. I don't know what I do there. We'll come back to that. So this is second floor. That'll bring me out there. Oh, can I just unlock it? Oh, I can actually just go through it like normal. Okay, that brings me to that puzzle. I'm not ready for a puzzle yet. Oh, I'm going to continue exploring here. I want to see what's up on the third floor. What was that? Oh my god, there's another floor. God, it's so quiet, man. It's so quiet. Oh, there is a roof. I'm gonna actually I want to go check on the roof first before I go start going through this maze. Yeah, there's something there. Look at that. Okay. Well, it's another diary entry. That's what it is. Um, I also like the rooftop. It makes me want to fly. You too? Stanley Coleman. Oh, for God's sakes, bro. I don't know if I even want to go out here. Woo! Boom! <laughs> um, well, there's clearly something out there that we need. Oh, God damn. Okay, yeah, let's just go. Let's just go. Is there anything over here? Got some machine gun bullets. I don't really want to fight these dudes if I don't have to. That is blocked off. There's a door. I don't want to waste bullets on these guys, but I kind of have to. <laughs> let's just run at it. Let me go! I'm like stuck in here now with these guys. Um, how dead am I? Oh my god, he's getting back up. You gotta be joking.
I couldn't even tell if I could get in this door. No, it's freaking locked. Of course it is. Can I get on this ladder? Is that all that was up here? I don't even know if that was even worth. Yeah, I don't even know if that was even worth it, to be quite honest with you. If that's all I got, it was machine gun bullets just to kill the monsters that made me use my health. There ain't even nothing up here. All right, let's try our luck down on the third floor. Okay, let's focus here. Let's focus. That's locked. What? Well, there's another friggin' keypad. What the hell? All right, well, I need two keypad numbers. What is this? Special treatment room? What is this? There's a memo on the wall. Uh, punishment for brutality towards patient. 12 hours confinement in the special treatment room. Uh, dismissal policy no longer in effect. Uh, contact the chief if you have any questions. Uh, there's something handwritten on top of the typewritten sentence. Uh, the trick is not to leave any marks. And the other thing, this looks like it was written by a different person. The chief is a pervert. Uh, Christy would have been better off if she had been fired. The trick is to not leave any marks. What does that mean? That's on Jesus Christ. I'm out of bullets. You gotta be joking, man. Nothing in here. There ain't nothing in here. Unbelievable. There's another diary. There you go, Heather. Thank you. Um, flowing freely, your ebony hair like the night sky, scattering fragrance. My heart, uh, clamoring in my chest like a storm, you trifle with it. Your pristine glance like a feast when you smile. Uh, my thoughts disturbed, my breath like opium, it drives me mad. Eric, a great poet who conveys my feelings so well, I shouldn't have let this place get to me. Uh, should never have gone crazy, but it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. But why won't you accept proof of my love? Don't stand on ceremony now. What? After all, you and I exist as one. What I give to you is the same as what I give to me. Stanley Coleman. What? I don't even understand what he's talking about, man. I thought that doll was like, had a key in front of it, but I guess not. Um, boy. I'm all sorts of confuzzled here, man. I don't really know. Just let's try this way. There's a save point. That's refreshing. What are you looking at, Heather? Stun gun battery, health drink, health drink. Thank you. It's another journal. Ha! 
Heather, my most sacred lover, I'm always watching you, uh, no matter where you are or what you may be doing. I have never lost sight of you. Um, I know you feel intensely lonely, yet with a single key to this door, those feelings won't stand in the way any longer. Uh, we haven't been able to see each other for so long. Be patient just a little longer. I'll be patient too, even though I long to hold you in these hands of mine. Uh, the key is behind the shelves in the underground garage. Why there? Ask that idiot doctor. There's not a single person here who's right in the head, uh, not just in this hospital. I mean, in all of Silent Hill. Except me, Stanley Coleman. So is he referring to that shelf that we found earlier? Is what I'm assuming. Let's go ahead and save. I might have to go back down there now. Maybe we had to trigger the, the document in order to like go down there maybe? I don't know. It's certainly worth a try. I'll do that if I get stuck here. Um, there's an elevator. Is there anything else down here? Yeah, there's a whole other pathway. Nothing down here though. Okay, um, I'm trying to figure out where do I even go? Okay, so I can't go anywhere else on the third floor because I don't know what that combination is. Uh, the second floor also needs a combination. The roof, there ain't nothing up on the roof. Uh, first floor... I've done everything. And then the basement. Let me go check that basement again. I don't know if this elevator will go down there. Or... No, okay. I gotta take the stairs. I wanna go try checking that shelf in the basement again now that I've read that document. And if that leads me nowhere, I'll try to go figure out that keypad puzzle. What door was that even? This door. Let's see if it'll let us back there now. No, it still won't let us go back there. Interesting. I thought maybe once I read that document. Hmm. I don't know how I... It's worth a shot, guys. I don't know what to tell you. Um, I need to heal, actually. Jesus Christ. Always running around in the yellow. Actually, reload that. And actually, let me equip that stun gun in case I come across more nurses. Okay, yeah, I guess I gotta go up to the second floor because I don't, I don't know how I get through here. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. Was she looking? Wait, hold on. Almost looked like she was looking at something on the wall over here. Was she not? No. Okay, I'm seeing things. All right, let's go try and figure out that puzzle. It's got something to do with that riddle and the keypad. Is that the second floor? Yeah. All right, where the hell am I? Oh, it's like right here, you yeah? know? Yeah, okay. All right, let me take a look at this again. So we got a nine-digit combo. Okay. Is this something I'm going to need, like, a freaking calculator and pen and paper for? The first is larger than the second. The second twice the third. The third smaller than the fourth. The fourth is half the first. 
So if the first is larger than the second, and the last number is half of the first. Hmm. What else does it say? Four of the numbers are not repeated. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. One of the numbers is the final key. Okay, so wait, hold on. If it says four of the numbers are not repeated. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. So it said three are not the top row. And it wasn't the right row. So that leaves four, five, seven, and eight as the last number, I think. I don't know. Two, three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. Oh, wait a minute. Three are not in the top row. So three out of the four numbers that I need are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. One of the numbers is the final key. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. So that means two of these numbers are in the right row. So three, six, nine are going to be, three, six, and nine are going to be two of the numbers, right? And one of these is going to be in there too. So three, six, hold on. I got to look at this again. Jesus Christ. Hey, yay, 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 yay. So we got first is the larger than the second. The second is twice the third. Three are not in the top, two are not in the right row. One of the numbers is the final key. I'm so confused, man. So I had what three? I had three, six, and nine. Um, three are not in the top row. One of the numbers is the final key. What was the one that was in half? The fourth is half the first. The first is larger than the second. The third smaller than the fourth. The first is larger than the second. The second is twice the third. The third is smaller than the fourth. The fourth is half the first. Well, what what logically would make sense there if four the fourth is half of the first number? And two of the numbers, two are not in the right row, but two are. Huh. So it can't be, the last number can't be three then, because you can't have half of, half of three. Or, it's, so the last number's got to be six, right? If I'm reading that correctly? Wouldn't it have to be six? The first is larger, let me read through this again, Jesus Christ. The fourth is half the first. The f four of the numbers are not repeated. There three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. 
one of the numbers is the final key. What in the... I thought I was... I know I'm second-guessing myself here. So, two are not... Three are not in the top row. And two are the left. Two of these, three, six, and nine, two of these numbers are part of the combination. I gotta figure out which ones here. Um, three, three, six, nine, three, six, nine. The first is larger than the second. The first is larger than the second. The fourth is half the first. So what if, in theory, we started with three? So would three work? The first is larger than the second. The second is twice the third. The fourth is half of the first. Okay, so three is not the first number. Um, would six work there? Because the second is twice. The fourth is half the first. So three... So if it went six, the fourth is half the first. It potentially could be starting with six and ending with three. The third smaller than the fourth. Four of the numbers are not repeated. Okay, so it's gonna be all four new numbers. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. Three are not in the top row. So wait, is that describing, which number was that describing? Three are not in the top row. Three are not in the top row. I just want to try... I don't even know which ones to try. Let me just try four, five, and three. That did not work. Um, I'm just trying a theory where I'm thinking six is the first number. Just trying different combos here. No, that ain't working. Hmm. Ah, shoot, I thought I was onto something, but I don't think I am. The first is larger than the second. So the first number's got to be a big number then, right? Because the second is, wait, what? The first is larger than the second. Because if, So if it's larger than the second, and the second number is twice the third number... So yeah, the first number's got to be a big number. Three are not in the top row. Three of the numbers are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. I'm almost thinking I should try and like work backward here. I know two of the numbers are either three, six, or nine. So if we started with nine, because it's got to be a big number. If the first number is larger than the second, so if the first number is nine and the second is twice the third, the fourth, it, so it can't be nine though, because that's not half of the first. That'd be 4.5. So if we tried eight, so eight is larger. So if we did eight... The fourth is half the first, so that would be four. The second is twice the third. The second is twice the third. In the so it can't be, we've eliminated nine, it's not nine. So if we did eight, 
and two of the numbers are on the right. And then I know if that half of eight would be four as the last number. So if we try eight, three, six, four. No, that doesn't work. What was the third? What was the other clue? The second number is twice the third. Okay, hold on, wait, hold on. So if we did a, the second number would be, oh, six is twice the third number. And then four. Yeah, there we go, boys. That's what I'm talking about. So we knew two of the numbers, so three and six were the other, were the two on the right. Man, that was a very interesting puzzle. Jesus Christ. Spent like 15 freaking minutes trying to figure this crap out. Oh my God. Heather. Back up, back up, back up, back up. I can't see. She's got a gun? You gotta be kidding me. We gotta get her fast before she shoots me. She does have a freaking gun. You gotta be joking. Dude, that katana is so badass, man. Look at this thing. Gutted. Absolutely gutted. I can't believe these things got guns now. Oh, that's lovely. There's a freaking foot sticking out. Uh, there's a man's corpse laid out on the stretcher. The hand that's sticking out of the sheet has something written on it. Of course it does. Are we going to look at it? or? What's that say? Tar my... What the hell? Oh, the start time is my key. The start time? What does that even mean? What'd that say? They're... Heather. What were you looking at over here? There's a medical... Re There's a medical record here. Could this be for this dead guy? Background unknown, name unknown, not admitted patient, found in poor mental state on hospital grounds, and temporarily installed in room M4 at chief's discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to severed um, artery, was grasping on kitchen knife. Assume this was a cause of neck wound. A possible suicide, uh, but wound angle suspicious, sent to second floor treatment room for further investigation. Have received no proof for, for patient residing in the same room. Uh, have not notified police, however, future, for future necessity, leave victim's bed and effects intact room M4. I don't know. That looks like a separate document, and she won't look at it. The start time is my key. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Well, it said something about M4. M4 is right there. Can I get on this? No. Oh, boy. I thought that was a phone. 
So that's showing what, 214? Yeah, let's turn that off for right now. That's showing 214, unless that's 230. If the big hand is missing, I can't tell. It might be one of those weird clocks that's got like the three. The alarm is already turned off. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> you got me, man. There's another journal right here. Let's read this. Uh, there was a tattooed guy on that rumpled bed. Uh, not anymore, though. That alarm clock and filthy bag are his. Uh, but don't misunderstand. I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him, though he was a liar. Shall I write something of my own on my chest, uh, since I can't cut it open to show you my heart? I love Heather. No, something a bit more forceful. I love Heather. Is it enough for what I feel? Oh, what tender emotion this image brings. Stanley Coleman. Jesus Christ, man. This boy be tattooing himself. Never even met the guy. Uh, the attached case is locked. Of course it is. There's another fork digit combo. Yeah, of course it is. Well, it said the start time was the key. So was it 2.30, 2.15? Well, 2.14. Well, yeah, that worked. I was going for 2.15, but... Actually, yeah, I think it was 2.14. <laughs> um, I got an instant camera. What the hell do I do with that? Did that say 2.15? No, it says 2.14. My bad. That got me to the right answer anyway. I'll take it. So we got a camera. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the camera. Um, where's, man, we got a, we still got some rooms down here. Oh my God. Yeah, I don't think we can battle these guys, bro. I don't want to get trapped in here is the thing. I wonder if I laid down some beef jerky. <laughs> they would leave me alone. Let's just try and duke it out with the katana. See how this goes. Dude, that's hitting them both, man. There we go. Oh, that's a three for one. Hell yeah. Dude, this katana is so badass. That took all three of them out. Unbelievable. This katana is actually the best weapon in the game. Hands down. Got first aid. Hands down, best weapon in the game. There ain't nothing in here. Just that first aid. Unbelievable. This game's trolling hardcore, boy. Let me tell you. One last room down. That's locked. So what the hell do I do? I've been all over up here. Um, the roof had nothing. The third floor, the third floor is still locked too. I don't know what the combination is for that. Unless it's the same combo I used up on the second floor. I could try it. I mean, it's worth a try, I guess. Because I honestly don't know what else I'm supposed to do. First floor, I've done everything. Everything's been... The basement, there's still that... I don't know what's going on behind that basement cabinet. Um, let me go try that combo on the third, or was it the third floor? Yeah, it was the third floor. Let me go try that. Maybe it's the same combination, because I haven't seen any other numbers. Is that, that's not the door, this is the door. I should probably save my game too. Oh yeah. I 
how do I get to save room is up on the third. That's where actually where I need to go. Uh, yeah, let's just go up here. This will take me up there. Avoid these monsters. Let's play this smart. Was that the, the thing with the combo? Yeah, it is. Okay, so what was the combo? It was like, what, eight? Eight, six, three, and then four? Damn it, that didn't work. God damn it. <sighs> it was worth a shot. Um, What do I have? I need to heal first and foremost. There we go. The only thing we picked up is this camera. Unlike a normal camera, you can see the developed photos right away. Maybe I can use that camera to see what the hell's behind that shelf, maybe? Wherever that was, that down in the basement? That's the only thing. Yeah, let's just try it, I guess. Where's... Here it is. like maybe Heather can like point the camera and take a photo to see what the hell's behind there maybe that's the first floor if this doesn't work then I don't know what I use the camera for and the only other thing I don't know is the combo Okay, thank God. It's doing something. What the hell's back there, man? Watch it be pyramid head. That'd actually be crazy. Oh, that's the combo right there. Nine, two, six, seven. Is that what that says? Nine, two, six, seven. Got him. That's second floor. Is this where that was? Was it on the third floor? Yeah. Is it nine two six seven nine two six? Easy. Here we go. All right, I want to just take a peek in here. I really need to go save. It's been like a freaking hour. Let's just try a couple of rooms. Seems secure. The area is secure. What is this? Uh, it's just a magazine, just some kind of gossip magazine. Uh, Teaching Despair, Hope House. Uh, Hope House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill, but behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. That's wonderful. Uh, Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a charity organization sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children, without homes and raises them with hope. Uh, but at its heart, it is a health heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogman in lieu of good religious values. Uh, Mr. Smith Temp, who lives near Hope House, had this to say, sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, uh, this reporter was refused admissions but he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do folks at Hope House have to hide? Uh, during my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower 
uh, which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell me what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it was anything to do with the business of erasing orphans. It may in fact be a prison or a secret place of worship. Uh, the cult religion that operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as the Order. Um, it's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers uh, prevent belief that they are among the elite. Chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. I tend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is the most important duty. Joseph Scriber? Hope House. I feel like I've heard that name before. Yeah, I bet you have, Heather. Got some health drinks. I'll take those. There's, what is this? Beef jerky. Why am I getting beef jerky? I haven't seen no damn dogs in here. I wonder if the nurses go after it. That'd actually be funny. I'm actually going to try that the next time I see one. Let's lay some beef jerky down. Uh, here's another thingamabob. Uh, goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me uh, because I made fun of it, saying it would come to this. Oh, the head's off the doll, man. If it weren't for his meddling, um, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Uh, then I could have taken you to my world. A world for us alone, more beautiful than this one. And I had been waiting for this day, for today, uh, the day I'd see you, the day you'd save me today. Heather, watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell, I loved you. Heather, my goddess. Heather, my lover. Heather, my... Damn, boy. Someone's got an obsession with me. Ooh. Let's use the beef jerky. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting. Take the bait. Take the bait. Please tell me. What? I think there's one behind me. It just shot me. We gotta go. We got to go. That one's shooting me. This katana is so good. Dude, get the one with the gun. Thank you. Just to be sure. Jesus Christ. Unbelievable. There goes the last health drink. I don't even know what door I left off on. Number eight, number nine. Yeah, they didn't go for the beef jerky. S12. Wasn't this a bad room? So, oh boy, here we go. Here, here we go. Play along, pretend you're Claudia. Of all mankind. Ha! What a ridiculous dream. Wait, just listen to me for a second. I've heard enough from you already. How did you turn out this way? Where did I go wrong? 
Listen to me already. I'm not Claudia. You're not Claudia. My name is Heather. Heather. Who are you? Leonard Wolf. Oh, that's Leonard. I'm sorry. I thought you were my daughter. Oh, Claudia's her his daughter. Interesting. Claudia is your daughter? Oh, so you know her, do you? Are you one of her followers? Hell no. no. <laughs> never. When I find her, I'm... Oh, I can feel the hatred. What? Behind your words. The anger. Sorry, but she, she killed my father. She's a fool, but she's still my daughter. I was going to forgive her if she changed her ways, but I see it's too late. Heather, will you help me? Help you? Where are you now? Uh, I'm not sure myself, but, but the door is at the end of the hall on the second floor. Second floor? I think I can be of help to you. I have a seal. Please. A seal? Interesting. This looks like Claudia's dad wants to help, like, stop her. The end of the hall on the second floor. I feel like I've been there and there ain't nothing there though. Is there anything else in here? It's like one last room. Is that all the doors up here? The end of the hall at the second floor. Yeah, there ain't nothing unless they're talking about that day room. Is that unlocked now? I don't know. Look at this mess. I need to go save my game, man. I haven't saved in like a freaking hour. Where is the save area? It's not here. It's the next one. There we go. just get this matter out of the way before things get out of hand <laughs> you know what I mean oh boy yeah this is gonna be a good place to stop conspirators man I just spent like a good hour here in the hospital um yeah Leonard said to go to the second floor and it was at the end of the hallway so he's either talking about m6 uh, the women's locker room, the men's locker room, or the day room. One of those rooms. So we'll uh, we'll uh, investigate that matter here when we get back. Uh, but for now, conspirators, that'll be the end of this one. Uh, thank you guys for watching. As always, stay charming. We'll be back with more Silent Hill very soon.